Okay, so V2 off the trigeminal ganglia. So um, V2 is completely sensory. And V2 goes through which foramen when we come out? Foramen rotundum. Okay, foramen rotundum. So that's standing room only. So it busts through foramen rotundum and it goes on and then it's going to go through the infraorbital fissure. So under the eye. So one thing to keep in mind here is the big picture. Um, V1 covers which part of the face? The upper eye. Right, the upper eye, and it's also called which nerve? V1 nerve? V1 nerve is also the ophthalmic nerve. So ophthalmic eye, so if you kind of keep the big picture in mind, this is the top of the head, so that's why this was drawn like this. So you have the frontal, you have your frontalis muscle up there, the lacrimal of the eye, now we're moving down nasociliary, and now we're doing V2. So V2 is also called what nerve? Uh, ma a maxillary nerve. Right, maxillary nerve, so now we're moving down to the mouth, kind of the top of the mouth, lower eye area. So V2 goes through foramen rotundum and infraorbital fissure under the eye. So whenever you have two fissures or foramens, it's probably a canal or a fossa. So which fossa is this? PT fossa. PT fossa. And if we're thinking of PT fossa, then it's gotta have a ganglion and that's PT ganglion. So PT ganglion, if you remember from before, we already mentioned we're gonna tie some stuff in, which nerve comes in and, and synapses at PT ganglion. You're going to have your deep petrosal and your greater petrosal nerve both coming in. And that's called the vidian nerve. So your greater petrosal nerve off of which cranial nerve? Seven. Right. So as a reminder from before, we had cranial nerve seven. Here's your greater petrosal joining with deep petrosal sympathetics, becoming the vidian nerve, going through the PT canal that we're seeing now, and hitting the PT ganglion, which is dangling off of V2. So this is where we are right now. Going back to V2. So we're here. Also another thing, uh, greater petrosal nerve is gonna come through foramen lacerum. Apparently I learned that and added it in later, so there it is. Um, so it does that and it hits there, and we can add more details later, but for V2, after you come out of the infraorbital fissure, the main things to remember are the zygomatic nerve and the infraorbital nerve and superior alveolar. Um, so the nice thing about V2 is this is kind of the entire chicken bucket all at once. I kind of dropped the chicken bucket after a while. I found it useless. Because if you put it all in one picture, if you picture this is the base of the skull and you're moving anteriorly, so this part's important. So if you're moving anteriorly, you're dropping some nerves and arteries inferiorly, you're going superior, and again, this is anterior. So when you go anteriorly, you can whip out your chicken bucket and, and kind of make sure this is all right. But if what comes out of infraorbital fissure, as you're moving anteriorly, you have zygomatic and infraorbital. And then nasopalatine, if you kind of go superior in the chicken bucket. You can go look at the chicken bucket Dr. Leo gave you. When you go superior, you'll have your nasopalatine nerves, and those are going through the sphenopalatine foramen. So I'm not sure if this is right. I kind of just drew it in there to remember it, but sphenopalatine, you're going up, um, which should make sense because your mouth is here. And so infraorbital, we're coming out, and that does your lower eyelid, top of your lip, corner of your nose, um, and then superior alveolar. So a couple of details that you can add, and the nice thing is if you just draw V2, and then the more that you learn about it, the more details you can add. So PT ganglion, you're gonna find out later, and in the chicken bucket, that if you drop down, you're gonna have greater palatine canal right here. And greater palatine canal is gonna have the greater and lesser palatine nerves. So again, you're moving anterior, and in the chicken bucket, you're moving inferior. Obviously, you're going to the palate, uh, greater and lesser palatine nerves. And then another thing that you can add from the chicken bucket too, to remember, is that you're gonna have fibers that go through the palatal vaginal canal, and that's the pharyngeal nerve. So that kind of ties everything in the chicken bucket there. And for the most part, that's V2.